Well, I'm delighted to say with me now is AFC Wimbledon's latest league debutant. It's Morgan Williams. Morgan, just tell us how the situation, of course, came about because you were actually going there initially as extra man, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we went down. Um, I found out I was in the squad. Uh, Rob told me on Friday. Um, so obviously I was buzzing to hear that. And then we went down to play on the Monday. And originally I was 19th man um, as part of the squad. But then Sakes pulled out uh, in the warm up with an injury. And uh, that was my chance. So yeah, so the gaffer pulled me over and said that I'll be uh, joining, joining on the bench. And then, and then yeah, the rest of the, the rest was history. I came on, uh, came on in the 86th minute. Uh, me and Q came on together, which was good. So you know, good to come on with someone I've shared the picture of last year for 18th football. So and yeah, so it came about. It was you know, sport went my way. It's, it's a blessing in disguise. Obviously, I. Obviously, hope sakes will cover soon, but for me, it was a it was a really good moment. Yeah. And the emotions that go through your head at that time as well, having spent so much time in the academy too. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've been here since I was five. This is my thirteenth season at the club. Um, it was Rob Rob Tooley who picked me out playing playing in Wimbledon Park when I was when I was five years old. He brought me down uh, to the under sevens a year early, and and then I've gone from there with Rob quite a long way through, which is you know, so it's obviously great to have him in the dugout when I've come on um, to make my debut. Um, obviously, I know you know I know the club so well. I know everything about the club, the history, what it means to play for Wimbledon, and and everything I need to represent when I'm playing and do everything I can for the club. And and I think it's you know it's good to see. Thirteen years on, I can you know I can finally say I've made my debut for the club I've I've known my whole life. Absolutely, but I mean another special moment as well. You're only out there for for a brief time, but. You got Chris Gunter playing there with the captain's armband on in his last game. Yourself starting your career, him ending his yeah. career. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. You know, I've, I've watched I've watched Gunter on the TV um, for years. So, so stepping out, you know, onto the pitch alongside him was, you know, it's like it's, it's, it's a dream come true. It's something you know so many people dream of, like the, the career he's had at Wales and his club career, of course. And you know, to be able to share the picture with him, um, you know, it's an honour and. And it's something that, you know, it gives me aspirations to now step on and it gives me, you know, the drive to be like him and, and to step forward and have a career and have a career like he's had. And, you know, it's just, you know, just learning off him, learning off how professional he is um, and the career he's had and what I can do, um, you know, to drive and follow in his footsteps. So, yeah, sharing a picture of him was, was certainly memorable for sure. Fantastic. Just turning the clock back a little bit, though, the team hotel, did they make you do an initiation song? No, I did mine. I, I did one last year when we went to Bolton. Um, so I've, 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 I've had my fair share of initiations. Um, you know, obviously did one at Eastbourne as well. So I've had a few, a few in the last year or two. So I was I was lucky to get away with it, which is good. Good stuff. But, yeah, yeah. But what about later in the week as well? Because I mean, to keep yourself humble and back down to earth again, you went out and did a Richmond run as well with the 18s? Yeah, the boys did the Richmond run the day after. Uh, I didn't run it because of. Um, I was advised, you know, with all, obviously the game the day before and the travelling to to not do it, but I was out there on the bike, um, you know, just helping with the boys, um, you know, just getting them through it. You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've run it three times now, so, um, you know, it's, it's never an easy run, so it's, it's always good to have someone out there supporting you, so I thought I'd, you know, get down and get down and help out. Just going a little bit further back as well, you spoke about Rob Toovey and the, the work that he's done with you to get you towards being into the first team through the academy, but somebody with your background as well from Wales, how did the club initially pick you up? Yeah, so it was Rob, Rob when I was playing, you know, just having a kick around with my, with, with my mum and dad and my brothers in the park and Rob's come down and he's, you know, he said, he said hello, he's, 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 seen, he's seen me from a from a distance, he's come down and just invited me to come down to the club. He was currently working with the you know the youth phase at the time, um, so he invited me down for a few sessions and and then like I said, it's just gone from there. I've I've just continued to progress. Rob always kind of played a year up in the academy, so Rob was always my manager from you know the nine to ten through to the fifteen. So I spent six seven years working with Rob um, until obviously he stepped up to the first team you know, when I was around sixteen seventeen. So now. A few years down the line, it's obviously all. Oh, I'd say it's all Rob's doing, but but no, it's good that I can you know share share the pitch and share you know being in the same first team squad that you know that he's in. Um, so yeah, it's, it all came about from just a local uh, a local kick around in the park. Yeah, that's incredible because I mean that's that's not through any other club. You've been spotted anywhere. It's literally from Rob Tooby seeing you in the park as a youngster. 
yeah, I know you don't hear it often, do you? Um, mm. But no, it is, it is literally that. I think it shows, you know, how tight the club is and, and the people within and how, you know, I've shared a journey with Rob, but also with so many other boys and so many other things that have gone on and how Rob's journeys look slightly different, but we all ended up, you know, in the same place with the same goal and, you know, working towards being in the first team. So I think it just shows, you know, within the club how, how connected everyone is and how there's a clear and obvious way that, you know, I can progress and Rob can come can progress from the under sevens all the way through to, you know, to, to playing and coaching in League Two. So yeah, it's a remarkable story. Just looking back over this season, I mean, of course, I remember when we met up last summer to do the the Richmond run before the season started, and it was just when the 18s were coming off the back of having a really successful season. Simon Clark hadn't been appointed yet. It was kind of a little bit of a limbo land, mm -hmm. isn't it? Michael Hamilton was looking after you guys, mm -hmm. but Simon's now come in, and, and all the lads have really taken to his methods, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy working with Simon. He's, you know, he's had he's had a career himself. He knows knows exactly what we experience as players and how and how we deal with things and how we attack. You know, every single day, um, which I think is really good that he's had that experience and we can and we can you know use it and we can work off it to to progress in our own way. I think you know he has really high standards, which is really good. He drives everyone on um, individually or as a team. He's got he's got his standards for each individual. And, you know, for me, I've flourished, I think, especially over the last three, four months when I've been working with him on the loan and progressing from the 18s football and the Youth Cup games into, you know, step two, step three football that I've played. So, um, you know, he's really good. He, work, he works with me really well. And, you know, it's been, it's been a very successful season under Simon, yeah. It has. Um, but one thing I was just to pick up on as well, that I remember speaking to Ben Mason, of course, picked up the Nigel Higgs award, somebody you know very well, Ben. Um, and Michael Hamilton said in interview as well that the 18s kind of missed having Ben around that environment this season, that kind of leader mm. with a, a, with around the group. Did you kind of feel that as well? Yeah, I think you know last year um, we obviously the league winning year with Ben obviously you know, skip at the side, and you know he's known for his for his you know for his charisma, for his for his actions, his constant communication. He, you know he's he, t he certainly talks a lot both on and off the pitch, but I think. You know, as well as we, you know, as well as we did have Ben last year, I think this year, you know, individuals have stepped up and and helped lead the squad. So, it's obviously, it, it's, you say it's a different form of leadership. I think this year, there's not so much talking and constant communication that one individual had, but I think it was more collective. It was more collective this year, you know. Um, and I think we work well as a team, to, you know, to to push ourselves just like Ben did last year with 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 the eighteen squad the year before. Yeah. And as you said, I mean, the, the first loan that you've had this season, going out with Corinthian Casuals, before that previously, I think you'd been out of Collier's Wood as well. Yeah, no, but the, the academy kind of found that they want to test you and you'd adapted so quickly to Corinthian Casuals that they wanted to move you up a level, yeah? Yeah, so originally I went out to Corinthian Casuals um, after the league season finished, um, which was, you know, my first... I was at Collier's Wood the year before, um, just for a bit of experience. Me and Aaron went there, but it was my first, you know, proper senior men's loan. Um, you, know, you know the likes of Rudy, the boys that have done uh, the same work at Casuals, uh, Corinthian Casuals before. Um, you know I was going in there obviously with excitement j just to see how I'd adapt to the men's football. You know I was confident um, to play and and I played seven or eight games at Corinthian Casuals, which was really good. Scored, scored, scored a few goals there and and then yeah, like you say, I progressed onwards through to Eastbourne. Um, after playing there for about you know one or two uh, Trinity Casuals for about two months, um, and yeah, obviously Eastbourne was the step up in the National League South, um, which was you know another brilliant test. I went in there, I played eight eight or nine games at Eastbourne, um, you know, and I think that's it's obviously a higher step up technically. The game's faster than than it was at Trinity Casuals, but I think that that first one definitely helped me to to you know to uh, to find my feet at men's football. Um, and then going into Eastbourne, I was you know, full of confidence coming off the back of playing at step three and feeling very confident doing so. So going in, and obviously on my start, uh, first start, picked up man of the match. So I was I was obviously buzzing to get that, and then and then just finish the season off strongly. So we, you know it's, it's 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 a great environment to go into. The club are very you know professional in the way they do things, and they provided me you know with a great opportunity to to showcase what I can do at that at that level of football. So yeah, it was really good there.
and it seems to be sort of like a good relationship we've got with them as well of course I mean Jack Curry had a very successful season there Alfie Bendel have been there before you so it's a very good relationship we've got with Eastbourne yeah I've, I've spoken to JC and Alf about it and their experiences and and you know the people that and the people that work that play there and they've all been very positive before I went in so um, it was good to know you know what I was going into and how I was going to adapt to it um, but yeah it, you know it's a great like I said it's a great club to go into you know the, the manager there Danny Blue is very um, is he, you know he's a character he's, he's very but he's very good at what he does um, and Ben I worked really well with Ben uh, the assistant manager he knew you know he knew a lot about what it was like to play for the club because he's played there a lot but also you know what it's like for me as a youngster to come in and and how I you know, you know just deal with all the situations you experience so you know it's really good working there and it's good that you know we've got a good relationship with the club with the boys that have gone through and now doing well like JC you know how he's pushed on pushed on this last year absolutely um let's talk about the international situation as well because I also spoke to Ben about the fact I think he, he now wants to kick on with his career as well and he had that call up to the Irish under-19s I think it was a training camp mm. um, but of course they haven't got a 20s he said I think the Welsh haven't got an under-20s as well at the moment so for both of you now it's it's the objective is what 21's 21. football for Wales yeah for you yeah I mean obviously it's um, it's a step up from the 19s we finished from the 19s um, I played 17 or 18 games over the course of my you know Welsh, Welsh youth career which was uh, you know, up to this point, which is really good. Um, you know, I've been involved in all the camps and all, and all the games. So for me, the next objective is now, like you say, just to push on and, and push forwards. You know, towards that twenty-one squad. So I think if I can, you know, keep playing at the level I have been playing, and obviously coming on and getting more experience at this level of football is certainly something that's gonna, it's gonna help me to you know keep pushing on and keep fighting my place and keep fighting my cause. So you know, I just have to just keep doing what I do, and then when the opportunity arises, I'll. I'm sure I'll grasp it with both hands and and you know and fight to stay there. Yeah, yeah. it's good to hear. Um, just finally as well now, I mean of course summertime, you you know still coming to part of the the academy squad. Do you get a, uh, an individual work program, a fitness program to work with over the summer now? Yeah, we've already been sent out uh, fitness programs for for the off season. So when we come back um, in about five weeks' time, we're all obviously in tip top shape. Um, I always I always work myself hard in in the off season. I, I think I need to learn how to take more of a break. Um, but no, I'm sure I'll be at it again. You know, we, you know, whether it be running, gym, strength and conditioning, football-based work. Um, you know, there's always a lot to do. We can never, you know, we can never let let our fitness drop off. We always need to stay sharp. So I'm sure I'll be doing that again this year, and just coming back ready to to push in pre-season and and to work as hard as I can to you know to keep pushing on and keep showing what I can do both on and off the pitch and how I can continue to progress, you know, especially after the other day, to get more moments like those and, and to keep pushing in the first team environment. What do you do now? I mean, as you say, I mean, apart from the fitness work, it's what, as you say, five or six weeks, will you get away? Will you get back a bit of a break? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'll look to go away somewhere for, for a week or so, um, a week or so soon just to you know, take that downtime to, to recover from, you know, what's been a, what's been a good season. Um, so then I can give myself, you know, just shy of a month to to work myself to the highest level I can, the highest, you know, physical level I can. Um, obviously, I won't take a week off when I'm away, but yeah, uh, just have some downtime before we get back into it. Um, so yeah. So when you look back on it now and you go cut through kind of a checklist of the season, have you ticked everything off basically for yourself? Yeah, I think I ended the season with 20, 23 goals and. 15, 16, 15 or 16 assists. So you know, as a midfielder, it's you know, it's great stats to be hitting. Um, you know, as you know, you, you look at the youth cup. The youth cup as an 18-year-old, um, it's a competition you want to do well in. I think it was obviously a shame to be uh, to be knocked out by Leeds, but I think we pushed them well. Um, so some good performances in that was obviously a good target of mine. Um, second place in the league with the 18s. Obviously, just uh, lost out to Luton, but you know, it was another good another good season off the back of winning the league the year before and then obviously for me on a personal note to get out on loan um, and to prove I can step up to that men's level like I did with the uh, career from the casuals then on to Eastbourne and then obviously finish, finishing off the season in you know what everyone dreams of making their professional debut and and now using it as an incentive just to keep pushing on so yeah it's been a, it's been a really good season um, for me and both you know both the team and uh, both the team and myself yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much indeed, Morgan, and uh, enjoy the break. Yeah, I will do. I will do.